Hello, this is a quick tutorial on the 3D to 2D screen space uh, script. It's very simple. It has two buttons, link and bake. Uh, what you're going to need to run the script is a composition that has a camera, although you can get away with not having a camera, although usually that's the case, and a 3D null that is uh, either stationary in the scene or animated through the scene. In this case, it is animated through the scene as the camera is animated as well and it is orbiting around, and for whatever reason, there's a big E attached to it. Okay. What this script enables me to do is select this 3D null and select either link or bake. We'll start with link. Uh, and now we have 2D, uh, which is the prefix that attaches to the original layer name that you uh, copied. Uh, so 2D to 3D null. And what we have is a null that is stuck to the anchor point of the old null, the 3D null. And it's basically a cheat to have uh, something occupy the same space. So you can drive 2D particles with this. You can uh, attach things to this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have a flare layer. And we're just going to come here and select... Well, actually, let's show the other part of 3D to 2D screen space. So I'm going to undo link 3D to 2D, and I'm back where I was. And this time I'm going to select bake, and it's a very similar process. The other time we were left with an expression that just linked the new null to the uh, 3D null. Uh, this one go, go, uh, goes ahead and makes uh, keyframes uh, at every frame so it bakes it out which is why it's called bake and you can copy this position into your flare layers uh, flare center for example and now I have a flare that is stuck to an E that is floating in space. Not the most exciting script, but sometimes you uh, need this script. So here it is.